first thing till now you might have got information regarding various stipends especially in central institutes as well as even state government provided the government stipends now in this video we are going certain different way we are going to analyze what could be the various salary scale and exact salary a central government employee is getting especially from educational institution so in the educational institute you know there are various scales assistant professor associate and then professor post so we are going to see exactly how much the each for uh, the teacher or you can say the assistant associate or professor is going to earn in this video we are going to have a look at national institute of ayurveda jaipur kindly watch this video till the end so among various institutes of ayurveda the principal or you can say the prime prime ones are coming under the ministry of ayush so especially the national institute of ayurveda is the one which is having its own name since 1976 but still the ugc scale is not applied here the teachers of you can say the institute employees are not having the ugc scale that is the university grants commission scale still the old uh, payment scale is followed now in this video we are going to see certain exact information regarding how the salary is calculated for each of these uh, you can say employee the first one being the assistant professor the lower most you can say the post as soon as a uh, teacher enters into an ai usually from the lower post it will be called as assistant professor earlier it was called as lecturer but it has been renamed as or redesignated as assistant professor so from now onwards you won't hear any terminology like lecturer in ai it will be directly from assistant professor now a post of assistant professor as the pay scale of level 10 so level 10 is nothing but starting from basic is minimum of 5600 up to 177000 up to 177000 what is what does this mean so you can see this scale of uh, exact you can say how to calculate the salary of this uh, employee there will be a basic along with that grade pay there will be a dearness allowance which gets revised every 6 months there is hra house rental allowance and then traveling allowance as well as non practicing allowance now when i told regarding the pay scale the basic one what i exactly meant is this you can see here the level 10 the level 10 is uh, number 1 starting with 5600 number 2 going with 5700 800 3 59 500 so as soon as uh, 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 anybody gets recruited as assistant professor a regular post these are not contractual post regular post is first year minimum basic salary will be 5600 second year there will be increment of up the level 2 that is 5700 third year there will be an increment of uh, again 1000 around 1700 so there will be 57 59500 so this will be the basic as he enters the institute and then uh, cons- consequently the increments so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 24 now this is in relation to the basic now you see the second point that is grade pay so grade pay is nothing but 6600 for an assistant professor it is fixed there are, for each post the grade pay is fixed for assistant professor grade pay is 6600 now the third point was in relation to da dearness allowance which is usually calculated by the central government and is, it is universally applied for all the central employees so this takes care of all the inflations and other things and ultimately there will be a percentage of increase every 6 months usually 2 to 3% is minimum and then it can go up as per the inflation so presently the da is 38% of the basic 38% usually da is calculated based on the basic salary so basic was 5600 calculate uh, the present da that is 38% of that 5600 you will get 21318 so that is the present da now hra hra depends on the place where you are residing so jaipur is coming under tier y city tier y city basically referring to um, population being around uh, 20 to 30 lakhs so tier x means the population where Uh, there will be more than 50 lakh people so there the hra is more here hra is slightly less in tier y city the hra or house rent allowance is 18% of the basic pay so the present da will be as per the basic 10000 around 10000 now ta traveling allowance how to again calculate there are multiple ways i have discussed regarding regarding this during this stipend of bhu and uh, tbi you can see there in detail so you can see here now the level 10 employee in tpt city it is 7200 plus da so delhi is a tpt city bangalore is a tpt city jaipur is not a tpt city varanasi is not a tpt city it is coming under other cities so 
ఇన్ఫ్యూచర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఓన్లీ because every 6 months da revises there could be a change in pay scale presently this is the scale or the exact salary now we move on to the next one that is associate professor here the difference is pay scale so level is 12 year 7 cpc only but level is 12 in the case of assistant it was 10 so level 2 basic starts with 78 to 800 you can see the uh, structure here so, so level 12 starts with 78 to 800 second it goes on increment with 81 200 and so on so minimum basic as an individual who is entering the associate professor post will be 78800 and grade pay year is 7600 because it is a higher post now dear ns elements just remember da depends on ba basic basic is more here 78 plus that's why da also will be more 38% of the 78000 now hra again it depends on basic basic increases hra increases because everything is dependent on basic now transport allowance so this doesn't have any change because irrespective of the post the person is coming on the same road same fuel everything that is why here there are no gradations it will be same for all now npa depends on again basics so here it again, again increases 20% of 78 will come to around 15760 if you calculate all this add on this without deductions it comes to roughly about 1 and 1/2 lakhs roughly about 1 and 1/2 lakhs this is in relation to associate professor now the higher post the higher most post professor here you can see the pay scale level goes to 13 so it's it starts with 123 so again everything is same the structure you can see here level 13 starts with 12300 so 123000 is the minimum basic now you know that everything depends on basic grade pay increases here 8700 da depends on basic based on this 123000 uh, basic it comes to about almost 47000 hra depends on basic again 22000 ta will remain the same as i already mentioned regarding that because you can see here uh, irrespective of levels everything is almost same now npa again depends on basic so here it increases almost it comes to about 25000 because 20% of 123000 now if you add on all this ultimately you are going to get 228684 a present professor post in nia will be getting this at the initial level it's not the second or third year salary it is the initial level so that is why 1 2 3 4 in the respective box you have to see as basic increases everything respectively increases that is how every salary changes every person who is a professor will not get the same salary the one with the more experience with more increments will be getting more so this is in relation to three level scales and of course in future there will be uh, two gradations based on uh, the uh, assistant professor lower scale and higher scale it is said to be implemented but these are the three uh, current salary methodology how you calculate in any anyway. so this is in relation to the salary of various teachers so of course why i am making this video is because you should know how much your uh, teachers are basically getting and you should be able to analyze whether they are able to uh, work properly as per the salary you, are, you should be able to assist them so you should get the maximum out of them because they are being paid from the central government so this is in relation to nai in the similar way we are going to have discussions on various other institutes especially the other institutes where ugc scale is applied there you can see a huge difference in the salary so if you have in your mind like everybody is getting the same type of salary in the city of the college no it doesn't hold good it changes based on the pay scale so until next time myself dr navish day thank you